bloggers fair, shall we, with our French blogger, Loïc de Le Maire, Le Maire who is uh, joining us uh, all week. Sorry about that, I can't even get your Hello, Hello, my love, how are you? Oh, very cool. Good day? Yes, excellent. <laughs> See what you achieved today. Loic, of course, is here blogging at the World Economic Forum. Let's see what happened today. Everybody think we only talk about business and politics in Davos. Well, I had the best session ever this morning with Helen Fisher about sex and love. Helen, uh, thank you for this presentation. What could you define what is love? Well, I think we've evolved three distinctly different brain systems for mating and reproduction. One is the sex drive. Uh, one is romantic love, that intense craving for a very particular person, and the third is attachment, that sense of calm and security you can feel for a long-term partner. And I think they evolve for different reasons. I think the sex drive evolved to get you out there looking for a whole range of partners. I think romantic love evolved to enable you to focus your mating energy on just one and start the mating process. And I think that attachment evolved so that you could um, tolerate this person at least long enough to raise your children together as a team. So we've got three brain systems for love. Another crazy day in uh, Davos meeting thousands of people and one of the things I, I do is moderate uh, panels and we had a fantastic session yesterday on uh, social software uh, which was basically the, the topic was uh, what's a friend because having you know like I have 4,000 friends in uh, Facebook and what you know what is a friend so I'd like to introduce myself my, my name is Loïc Lemer I'm a blogger uh, I created a number of uh, Companies, the last one being a, a blogging company in Europe. Um, I was uh, then the head of Six Parts Europe, and I just started another online community called Sismic. But that's not my uh, uh, topic tonight. I'd like to invite you to share, I think, the best format ever of a conversation in Davos. That's the one I prefer, at least, is the dinner conversation. And uh, first, I'd like to uh, say that this is an on the record session. So as you can see, there is a camera. It will actually be posted on uh, on the web. So if anybody is not uh, happy with this, of course, uh, let us know. Who blogs? Can you raise your hand? All right. So how can you do an off the record <laughs> with a room like this? <laughs> the other thing I do in Davos this year is I share as much as possible with this phone in video to Sismic, a social software, and people can answer. And I was lucky enough to meet Paolo Coelho, the author who gave me a few minutes interview just with that phone. So we are here with Paolo Coelho at the World Economic Forum. Hello, Paolo. Hello. Bonjour. We can speak in English because it's yeah. more of an international audience. Yeah, I was very impressed and, uh, at, at this. And you're a blogger, Paolo, right? Yes, not only I'm a blogger, but I also stimulate piracy on the internet. I think that contents are for free. So whenever you feel like this is in my blog, yeah. Paulo Hello, Paolo. I really like your articles. I see you every day in uh, the Greek newspapers. This is incredible to me for more than one reason. Firstly, an amazing author that writes an incredibly amount of fantastic books. How does he have time for modern social networking? And number two, the fact he is even taking the time to me is amazing. Not because it's 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 not worthwhile. This is very worthwhile. This is a great place to be. What better better way to talk directly to fans, appreciators, people who respect what he's doing. I can't think of any better way of connecting with the people out there, especially for someone who spends so much time researching and writing. One of his books massively changed my life. And just seeing the people like wander through here, uh, you know, Rupert Murdoch maybe an hour ago just walked through, and you know, and uh, people got up and start talking to him and it's just it's just amazing. President Musharraf is you know you can pan over there he's like eight feet away from us right now. There's nothing stopping us from walking over there and talking to him if we wanted to. Or do you have you know general advice? I'm mm -hmm. just trying to get you know. Well these three brain systems work together so uh, very often so if you have more sex with somebody you're more likely to sustain that brain system for romantic love and so we um, should have more sex. <laughs> We're built to have sex we should with have the more right sex. person. With the right person. All right. And uh, I'm not so Mr. more sex. Business. More sex drives attachment. <laughs> no, no, no. So you should, uh, should they you? all they can all drive each other. Um, but uh, the one thing that I really would say is try to marry the person after some of that very intense early stage romantic love has worn off a little, so that you can see what you've got. Thank you very much, Helen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you are with us all week. Thank you, Becky. Thank you very much indeed. Folks, blog. You can see. 
on the web, of course. And you can see Lloyd with us as we move through the week. That's it from me here in Davos. Do stick with us as we move through this World Economic Forum here in Davos in Switzerland. Fin